Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm April Honey. I don't know how you got here, but I am so thankful that you're here. Um, I'm so glad for everybody that's been showing up because they're trying new things. I have a custom design tutorial for you. This design was requested by a viewer, the Bellarific. I'm going to link their Instagram in the description below because they're pretty amazing and you should go follow them. But let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is start with like the circle tool. I use the circle tool to create like some kind of a wonky rock shape. Like it doesn't have to be perfect, right? We're just going to, we want something to start with and then we're just going to chip away at it, you know? Like the shape doesn't come perfectly at first. You just kind of chip away. As always, the pixels for this custom code are going to be over in the Discord. Um, it's pretty... Uh, cut and dry it's going to be very easy to translate you're going to be able to see um, all of the colors and everything and I will put the color palette down in the description below so that way you guys have that um, as well if you want to copy the exact colors that I used you can change the leaf colors and everything to kind of match what time of year it is on your island I am working with um, between spring and summer like spring so those are the more yellowy type leaves that I'm working with right now. If you're going summer, you're going to want it like one hue over more to the green. And when you get to fall, you're going to want to bring it back to the yellow, almost to the browns or to the browns, actually. And then for winter, you're going to want to take it over to the blues. Um, otherwise, we're just going to add some rock texture. You know, it's um, it's just a, a really kind of like a layered texture, bumpy kind of texture. Rocks are porous, so you want to make sure that it's not completely smooth, but at the same time, they're stepping stones. So we want them to look like the kind of stones that you would skip rock across, like you would skip across if they were like standing out on a river or something that you would feel confident stepping across. And then I, at first made the stones match my personal island which gives them a little bit of a brown or yellowish hue but then i wanted to lighten them up because the ones that bella wanted were very um they were very desaturated they were um pretty light and you have to consider that any colors that you put on this palette it's going to be about two shades lighter on the ground in animal crossing not sure exactly how that works probably the way the sun reflects off of the ground in the game because the ground is very smooth and that's probably um, why texture tends to absorb pigment a little bit better than smoothness and because it's kind of like a very smooth ground then that's probably why the colors appear to be a little bit lighter on the grass they look a little bit more saturated in the different kinds of dirt because the dirt is very porous and it pulls in the color right that's kind of how it would work in real life as well so it's really cool that the game does that for us so we wanted to add some green leaves around just to make it look like they're growing out of the ground and i just uh, went and did my own rendition of leaves they're nothing too exciting um just kind of look at my canvas and I make sure they look like leaves there. So it's not, you know, it doesn't look too complicated. And then I took my base um, rock for the second one and I just shaped around it again to make um, part of the next one. And then I added from there. Um, so these are stepping stones. They're gonna be like multi-directional and stuff. We want them to be like, um, going in different ways or indicating different ways, I guess, subtly. So we want them to be like a set uh, so you're not using the same stone like over and over and over again. So you do want it to kind of like indicate like uh, different shapes and directions and stuff and you don't want them all to be the same. So I did that with this one. I added um, to a larger stone, a medium sized stone and a very small one. And I thought that was gonna look pretty cute. And yeah, so we went ahead and we texturized that one as well. I do add a little bit of a highlight over the top of the peaks of them. There was one reference photo um, of a custom design that Bella had seen, and this is what she wanted, the inspiration for what she wanted. Um, I don't do one by one for one copies, but 
I did take inspiration from the colors and the theme that she wanted. And I will give you the creator code that I that was the inspiration for these designs down in the description. Unfortunately, I can't find this person on social media because their name is in Japanese. And um, the translator, uh, I don't know how to use like Japanese characters. If any of you guys, any of you, um, know how to translate all of translate it uh, for me then feel free to share that in the description and I will pin your comments but I don't know how to do it I would love to properly credit the inspiration for the set the thing is they only had one stone so they didn't have a lot <laughs> they only had like one or two stones and we wanted a whole set of them so that was the inspiration for this and I figured while I was making it I was going to show everybody how to make it because that's how I roll right um, I just love showing all of you guys how to make these custom designs. I want them to be extremely accessible to you guys. I want you guys to be able to try new things and to soar as high as you want to in this game. Do things that you never thought were possible. It's going to keep the game fresh for you. When people talk about burnout, it's because they run out of things to do, right? But if you're making your own designs, you'll never run out of things to do. And I think that's contributed to me never being burnt out in this game. I'm never burnt out. If I'm not designing an island, then I'm making my custom codes for the next island. And I'm still loving the game um, no matter what. It just allows me a whole different kind of creativity that I don't think any other game has been able to give me. So. I do adore this whole pixel art thing. Once I got the hang of it, once I got used to it, I think it's pretty amazing. It's pretty a pretty great tool to use. Um, hopefully you guys are enjoying it now that you're getting into custom designs. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the description. I do read all of the um, comments in the description. If I don't reply, I do answer the questions. Now, the way the comments work in the description are basically that the very first time you comment, it notifies me in YouTube studio and I get to reply directly from there. Any other time you comment, like if you comment on a very old video, if you don't if you reply to my comment instead of making a new comment, then I won't see it. I don't, I get a notification in my basic new YouTube notifications, but unfortunately I can get um, upwards of 200 to 300 of those a day. And cause I have a lot of videos. So if I don't get back, if you reply to my comments, um, then put it as a new comment because that way I'll be sure to see it. I am so sorry when that happens. It's not that I ever ignore anybody. I really don't. I try to get back to everybody that I possibly can. Um, but if I don't see your comment, then it really means that it probably got lost because it was a reply to a comment instead of its own individual comment. So, um, yeah, if you have any questions, I'm always happy to help. But um, give yourself a new comment in order to do it or you can always dm me on social media i'm over on instagram i'm on discord and i check my messages on twitter i don't tweet but i check my messages i'm also over on tiktok if you want to see these all in the very short version i do launch those like a week after the main tutorial comes out i'll put out a little bit of a short to kind of remind people that there's a tutorial out there and um hopefully you guys have been catching those i've been getting a really great response so i love you guys for that thank you so much um hopefully this helps you at least just a little bit i'm gonna let you watch me finish this up i'm not gonna keep babbling because there's really nothing to say i'm making some leaves there's some textured leaves um yeah Everything's going to be in the Discord and down in the description for the palette, and hopefully that will be good for you. I don't think that I left anything unsaid, but if I did, be sure to ask me in the comments down below. I'll be back in just a minute.
So this is our last one. I did end up making five in total. One of them didn't make it onto the recording. I don't know why OBS decided to stop recording. Maybe I nudged the mouse or something. I didn't really mean to, but I will still put the pixels up in the Discord so you can copy it anyway. I'm so sorry about that. I do try to catch everything, but um, that time I, it was just a little bit beyond my control, but hopefully this was helpful to you. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know you guys can be doing absolutely anything in the world and you choose to come back and hang out with me. I appreciate you so much for that. You guys are amazing. I couldn't do this without you. Thank you to all of my channel members, all my new channel members, all the ones that have been with me from the very, very beginning. I know I don't promote like memberships and things like that, but I appreciate you more than anything. And I hope everyone has an amazing, beautiful day. I will see you in the next one. Bye.